Now, he's most famous for his novel, A Clockwork Orange, but Anthony Burgess was also a prolific composer. Most of what he wrote has been lost, but now a score written at the end of the Second World War has been rediscovered and will be performed for the first time tomorrow. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, reports. For more than 65 years, it was thought to be lost. But Sonata for Cello and Piano in G minor was recently discovered in boxes found at the composer's house in Italy. This piece of music is quite a revelation to me. As soon as you get into the music, you realise how intensely heartfelt it is. It's a very personal work, especially the second movement. It's the work of a composer who wrote over 150 pieces, but one who's much better known for writing novels, and one novel in particular. Anthony Burgess wrote A Clockwork Orange in 1962, and it was turned into a controversial film by Stanley Kubrick a decade later. It's a dystopian satire about a demonic gang leader with a love of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. There is a lot of musical content in almost all of Burgess's novels, whether there's a character who's a composer, or sometimes he's writing very consciously in musical forms, in symphonic forms or sonata form. So here, here's the slow movement with the dedication for the dead, 1939 to 45. In 1945, Anthony Burgess wrote his sonata for cello and piano while teaching in the Army Education Corps in Gibraltar. After the war, he became a colonial officer in the Far East, leaving the piece with friends in the UK. Much of the music he wrote while abroad has been lost, which makes this his earliest surviving complete work, and therefore of great interest. In many ways he's known as a comic novelist, but he's also remembered as quite a violent writer because of A Clockwork Orange. I think this piece of music shows us another side, quite an unexpected one. Um, it, it's unusual to find him being uh, be, being serious um, in a way and I think um, yeah I think there's there's another dimension to his creativity that comes through um, this kind of musical writing Anthony Burgess was born in a suburb of Manchester in 1917 his mother died of influenza before his second birthday his father was a pianist in pubs and music halls Anthony Burgess was brought up in this now derelict flat above his stepmother's tobacco shop in Moss Side. It's here that he began writing poems and short stories and also composed his first symphony. Arguably, his greatest passion was for music. He once said, I wish that people would think of me as a musician who writes novels instead of a novelist who writes music on the side. This weekend, his sonata will receive its first major public performance as part of the Remembrance Sunday events at Imperial War Museum North. Depending on the reaction from the public, it could help establish a reputation for Burgess the composer. But for this to fulfil his wish and overtake his reputation as a novelist, it would have to compete with the memory of one notorious book. Stop it! Stop it! Please! I beg you! Matthew Kane, Channel 4 News, Manchester.